bronchoscopic lung volume reduction, thoracic masterclass, in the the rationale of bronchoscopic lung volume reduction, use of endoscopic methods to collapse hyperinflation would have the beneficial effects, similar to restricting these areas, without the morbidity of surgery, patients were not good surgical candidates might be able to undergo BLV utilizing, bells, glue, bypass, oils, thermal vapor ablation. What is COPD? It is characterized by irreversible airway obstruction with persistent respiratory symptoms and is a relatively treatable disease, emphysema is one of the most common chronic and progressive conditions associated with COPD, basal physiology it includes, the destruction of the lung parenchyma via chronic inflammation, followed by the permanent enlargement of terminal bronchioles, dynamic hyperinflation, a loss of elastic recoil, air trapping, and reduced exercise capacity. Summary of treatment, medical treatment, lung volume reduction surgery bronchoscopic lung volume reduction, lung transplantation. Medical treatment, includes, smoking cessation, bronchodilators, mucolytics, phosphodesterase 4 inhibitors, respiratory rehabilitation, and nutritional support, vaccination, and long-term oxygen therapy. Lung volume reduction according to NET criteria, patients who after physical evaluation for COPD, and are still symptomatic after maximal treatment, including, just X-ray, CT scan, spirometry, lung volumes, blood gases, echocardiogram, and six-minute walk test with oxygen assessment, if such evaluation revealed the following criteria, patients are referred to Lung Volume Reduction Regional Center, this criteria includes, oxygen tension more than 45 mm mercury, CO2 tension less than 60 mm mercury, FEV1 less than 45%, to the lung capacity more than 100% and residual volume more than 150%, and 6-minute walk more than 140 meters, at the specialized center, exercise test is requested, patient with upper lobe versus non-upper lobe predominant emphysema and high versus low exercise performance are then evaluated for lung volume reduction procedure, it is of note. Patient selection is limited due to high post-procedures non-fatal pulmonary complications, and short-term mortality of 6.9%. Currently, lung reduction surgery, or bronchoscopic lung volume reduction treatments, are considered only in refractory situation to optimal medical treatment, this statement has been recently added to the guidelines, however, patients who are not eligible for both treatment methods may be candidate for lung transplantation if they're FEV1 less than 25%. One way endobronchial valves, the principle is to block the inspiratory airflow into a targeted hyperinflated region of the lung, while permitting exhaled gas to escape, the idea is to place a stunt-like self-expanding structure, covered with silicon or polyurethrane, acting as Heimlich valve. Fissure integrity, thin slice each a CT scan categorical, Assessment of lobar fissures surrogate for interlobar communication, complete fissure, highly correlates with the percentage of volume reduction and percentage change in FEV1. Pre-bronchoscopic volume reduction on the left side and, the change in 30 days post-procedure, improvement in FEV1 up to 82%, FVC up to 44%, reduction of residual volume by 51%, and improvement in 6-minute walk test by 96%. Valves the evidence, widely evaluated devices, no comparative studies demonstrating the advantage of one model of valve over another, easily removable, can be used also for lower lobe predominant emphysema. Some patients have a great benefit the gold responders with FEV1 more than 50%, best results seem to be correlated with the development of an anatomic atelectasis the true volume reduction, and anatomic atelectasis occur in minority of patients. High percentage of patients do not have benefits, ventilation is a major problem. Coils, are straightened for insertion into the airways, and then reform their coil shape once they are released from the bronchoscope, gently compressing the surrounding disease lung tissue entering the small airways open. Mechanism of coil action, not only volume reduction as the improves elastic recoil, restores radial suspension of airways, reduces airway resistance, reduces airway trapping, and hyperinflation, hence the reduces shortness of breath, and increases e What is COPD? It is characterized by irreversible airway obstruction with persistent respiratory symptoms, and is a relatively treatable disease, 
Emphysema is one of the most common chronic and progressive conditions associated with COPD. Basal physiology it includes, the destruction of the lung parenchyma via chronic inflammation, followed by the permanent enlargement of due to complete fissure valve shows no benefits for the old man, three months later these valves were removed, and replaced by coils in his left upper lobe, pulmonary functions improved shown by improvement of his FEV1 by 41%. Reduction of residual volume by 29%, and his 6-minute walk increased by 25%. Coils the evidence, act at alveolar rather than the airway level, not influenced by collateral ventilation, however it is irreversible, not indicated if lung is too destroyed coils need tissues, the current number of treated patients is still small. Sealant, polymeric lung volume reduction, air seal system, air is therapeutical. Sealant. Polymeric lung volume reduction evidence, act at alveolar rather than the airway level, not influenced by collateral ventilation, easy to perform, irreversible, not indicated in large bulla more than 5 cm, not indicated for lower lobe emphysema, small number of patients in the published series, still on clinical control trials. Regional collapse with steam, enter vapor, uptake medical, USA, disposable catheter, and reusable vapor generator and handle. Results of steam at baseline 3 months and 6 months, shows progress of shrinkage of the emphysematous upper loop and expansion of the lower lobe. Endoscopic lung volume reduction using non-blocking agents, in an attempt to overcome the problem of collateral ventilation, non-blocking agents using a MARI seal, or thermal vapor ablation has been proposed, yet complication that have met this procedure includes, inflammatory reaction, COPD exacerbation, and pneumonia. Targeted lung denervation, is the most recently developed novel therapeutic COPD treatment, technically, it is not a volume reduction procedure, rather, it's an hour abolition of parasympathetic nerves innervating the basal lung and the reduction of bronchoconstruction, its effects are similar to those of anticholinergic drugs, it is performed via a double-cooled radiofrequency catheter, utilizing 15 to 20 watts applied to the target lung, at 8 points. Bronchoscopic lung volume reduction, the use of autologous blood, and tissue glue, it has been suggested, in an attempt to reduce the cost of the current technologies, a pilot study reported in 2016, to assess the efficacy and safety of the procedure using low-cost agents, with a limited number of patients, there has been some improvement in FEV1, and 6-minute walk test, although limited series, yet complications appeared as one patient developed pneumonia, and another one developed COPD exacerbation. The study concluded, the efficacy and safety, and low cost of the modality, however, mortality was not reported. Stents and, bypass. Stents, airway bypass, strategy, bilateral treatment with at least six stents, selection, homogeneous disease, with moderate to high level destruction, high degree of collateral ventilation, survival, good acute benefit but short lived. Need technological improvement to maintain stent patency. Bronchoscope treatment of, of emphysema, conclusions, this treatment cannot yet be considered a standard of care, and patients should be treated in the context of clinical trials or of controlled registers. They also should be performed in selected centers with the following criteria, experience in different treatment modalities, possibility carefully select patients from the clinical and functional point of view, possibility to follow patients. Providing alternative therapies in case of bronchoscopic treatment failure. Thank you.